Alright, so this video, we're going to install the ZL1 fans, we're going to get them running, we're going to have them controlled by the Terminator, we're going to cut in the jewelry box panels, we're going to reroute the lines for the waste gates, and we're going to run into my buddy Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's a pretty cool dude, he's got the 69 Camaro that was his dad's car, and we're going to talk about it years so this turns out to be like a 13 16 so i'm sorry 7 30 seconds what i measured so i'm going to drill a little pilot hole just to kind of help to kind of keep it all nice and square i always like to do that i used to think it was a waste of time but no longer do all the things that you see people do that are that have done it a bunch of times you think you know what i'm going to do this a little faster than they did you know there's probably a reason why they do all that stuff and it's like you don't know it you don't understand the reasoning behind it. It's kind of like, why bother putting tape on here, right? You know, specifically this blue tape, right? Well, with painted surfaces, you you know, you run the risk of like flaking paint and stuff like that. So this should be pretty good now. So I had to cut this to fit on top of the new fan shroud. This used to be straight, if you remember. Kind of laid it on there, took a little bit off it over time, but I think it's about ready to go on there now. I always like to peel it at a 90 degree because that's a lot less likely to peel off any kind of paint or something like that and man oh man that looks nice boy oh boy that looks really nice look at that let me show you show you how nice and clean that looks there not sure if you can see that or not but you can see those holes there see how there's no real paint tear or nothing like that i can run a little little bit of something here on the edge it's aluminum so i don't have to worry about it rusting or something like that but yeah pretty cool bing bong let's go set this off the side and we'll do the next one. Okay, so the next one, this one's a little bit crazier. What I have to do is I have to drill this hole right here in order to run the wastegate lines through here and put this grommet on there. So we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna measure that. We're gonna use one of these drill bits that kind of like a step bit. And we'll see if that peels the paint. Hopefully it won't. If it does, you know, hey, I gotta fix it, right? So let's go ahead and drill that out. Let's get a little pilot hole to fit that right there. So that'll stay in there nicely. All right, so let's pull this tape off of here. Remember, we want to try to be all the way angled. Look at that. Virtually no damage to the paint. Isn't that crazy? Freaking cool is that, right? Come on, man. That's good. Now we can run the turbo lines. Let's go set this in. All right, let's cut a little bit off of here. Make it fit a little better. There we go. It all does seem to fit right now. That sits in there nicely, I think. Hopefully this stuff isn't leaking. Now we put in the final piece. Then we can go to lunch. Sits in there nicely, and then this pops right in there. All right, let's dust it off real quick. I heard it. Yeah, I think it's running out of gas, man. I heard it. How you doing, bro? All right, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, I was just checking out the fans. Fans just come on at like 140. Got them all squared away. I got this E5. Oh, okay. Oh. I heard it the pop around and I like it. Yours will be like this, man. We get we get working on it, man. Yeah, yeah, I got I got it. 